Hello and welcome to the 27th race of the 1993 NASCAR Winston Cup season live in quotation marks from Charlotte Motor Speedway. This is the 1993 running of the Mellow Yellow 500 here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. It's going to be very interesting races. After this race, we only this is one of the final four races of the season. After this race, we only have three races left in the season. So let's take a look here at our points coming into this race. Currently, Dave, Dale Earnhardt has been leading almost all season, been dominating. But Eric, Davey Allison has closed in a little bit in points, only 161 points out. And Morgan Shepard's right there, too, only 169 points out. Ha. So anyway, with that in mind, we're getting ready to run this race and before we do that it's time to take you through your starting lineup now i don't remember if these guys had a pit or not just really quickly um but yeah so let's go through your starting field presented by budweiser budweiser the official field nascar on the pole today is dale earnhardt let me scoot my chair up here a little bit in professionalism Dale Earnhardt is on the pole here today. Alongside him on the outside is Morgan Shepard in the 21 Sitco Ford for Wood Brothers. Behind them is the rookie Jeff Gordon, who got his first win this season back at Bristol, the Bristol Night Race. One of the most popular races in the set schedule besides the Daytona 500. Mark Martin starts on the outside of him. Ken Schrader behind them, Jeff Gordon's teammate. Kenny Wallace, another rookie that's been running surprisingly well this year. He starts behind them. Davey Allison starts... In the row behind them, alongside a surprise driver this year, he's been actually running better and better, Rick Wilson. Rick Wilson's been actually been very impressive recently. So it's been it's been it's been good for that team ever since uh, Petty left. Rusty Wallace is behind them and his Pontiac falling out of the championship. Alongside him, a Pontiac row here. You also have Kyle Petty in the in the car alongside of him. Jimmy Spencer starting in his 12 Ford Ford Thunderbird for Bobby Allison. Alongside him is Bobby Hamilton running a partial schedule. He's running this race. This team, who um, this is Moroso Racing. That scared me a lot. I guess I didn't give myself. I, I guess I didn't give myself the five minute thing in this in this race. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, but um, Bobby Allison. Well, I mean Rob Moroso. Um, they they've been running a partial schedule since their son. Um. I think, no, Bob Morosa, I think, is the, is the father. It's, their son passed away. You, you look it up, okay? That's why they're running partial. That's, that's, that, that's, they're doing what they did in real life. I don't think Davey Allison's death would affect what they did. Ted Musgrave is alongside Terry Labonte in the room behind them. Greg Sachs is going to be alongside Bobby Hillen Jr. The 1990 Daytona 500 winner, Derek Cope, starts alongside Jimmy Means, running a partial schedule again. Um, Andy Hillenberg, who we haven't seen very much of this year. He's, this is one of his few starts he's making. He's going to be starting alongside of Bill Elliott. Daryl Waltrip starts alongside Rick Mast. Bobby Labonte, another rookie, starts alongside Michael Waltrip. Sterling Marlin starts alongside Jerry O'Neill. Person we don't see very much also. He's in, this is a partial. This is a part-time race for him. Lake Speed starts alongside Phil Parsons. Jay Sauter. No, Jim Sauter. I'm sorry, not Jay Sauter. Jim Sauter in the Burger King 85 car starts alongside um, Hutch Strickland. Wally Dahlmack starts alongside Todd Bodine, Rich Bickle, Chad Little, Harry Gant, oldest winner ever, Dave Marcus, John Andretti running part-time, Dale Jarrett, Ricky Rudd, Ernie Irvin, Dick Trickle, and Jeffrey Bodine. Some very good top contenders in the back of the field here. And that, and that is your starting lineup. Let's get this race rolling because it already kind of started rolling, but we'll pretend that didn't happen. So here we go. 34, 334 laps here, 500 miles, actually 34 laps, I'm not, I'm not insane, so 500 miles to be ran around this racetrack here today, Morgan Shepard on the outside pole, Dale Earnhardt though, he is, he was the fastest in qualifying, he's been fastest all year, he's had a, he's basically been pulling away in the points, he gets this field ready to take the green flag here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, and the green is... In the air, we're green flag. Already, Mark Martin trying to take a three wide on the outside. Look at him go. Mark Martin slots back in line. 
That was a very aggressive start for those for him. But Dale Earnhardt pulls out to about a car length lead here as these guys get up to full sawing through the first two corners. And now it's two Fords be insulated in between two Chevrolets. And Mark Martin's going for second here. But look at Morgan Shepard cut him off and go for first. Behind them, you see two teammates, two Chevrolets battling side by side. And look at that. Looks like Ken Trader's going to get the advantage off the corner. Here comes Davey Allison charging up on the inside of him. Allison need to run at top position today to even keep within vocal stride of um. What did I just say? Of Dale Earnhardt. And Earnhardt's been leading. This is not good for either Shepard nor Allison. And Allison needs to get up there and go for it. Mark, Mark Martin, who's sixth in points. He has a chance to win this championship, but it's about as far-fetched as um anything. Ignore that. As we come around here to look at this, Ken Schrader's going for it. Schrader going under for third now. He's came up from sixth. Or seventh, I believe it was. He's up to fourth now, up to third. Here comes Ken Schrader, looking to have a fast car here in the beginning openings of this race. Now you see Jeff Gordon cut out and Davey Allison there. Mark Martin look out there too. Top two and who started the race are still top two in this race in this so far through this race. Coming through these corners. Looks as though everyone will keep in stride one another single file throughout the top. I would say 10. We'll get the, we'll get this we'll get this up for you here. So you take a look here at the top 10 here running right now. Kenny Wallace, Ted Musgrave, and look at the battle for the lead. Here comes Morgan Shepard on the inside of Dale Earnhardt. Doesn't get the momentum down into the corner. That may give Ken Schrader a good run through three and four to get him off of exit. Still no moves. 30 to go. Look at Dave, Davey Allison going under Mark Martin here for that, I believe, fourth position. Mark Martin getting that high line run, though. But Davey Allison hugging that white line, keeping speed up throughout that corner. Move Davey not up the fourth way yet. Martin got a good acceleration off that corner. Look at Jeff Gordon. Maybe look to make it three wide in the three. No, things better of it. Didn't have, the, didn't have the momentum to even try and attempt that move. And Allison will clear on exit. Top three have now isolated themselves away from the field. And it's going to be a three-way battle here. 21-25-3. and three. Here we go down to this corner. All three of them nose to tail. Now Allison made his move up to third here. Just got, got around Martin. Gordon now trying to get around um, Martin. Here comes these three drivers, though. Allison's now trying to chase these guys down. These guys do not want... Morgan Shepard needs to find a way to get around Dale Earnhardt fast here. He does not need Earnhardt locking up. Most laps lead points, or that will be critical in the championship battle. However, these guys might not be going for the one. They may be going just for the checkered flag today. And look at De Ken Schrader. He's moved up, like I said, from seventh. He's all the way up to second now, trying to complete that pass on Morgan Shepard. Ken Schrader wins this race. Ken Schrader has a very – Ken Schrader still has a chance to win this championship as well, but it's a very – like, again, this one, that's also another very far – reaching championship idea. He would need a lot to go his way. He need or probably to wreck out the last three races and him to have some, some stellar performances for the next three or four races. Anything's possible though in this series. And at the in the moment of a second, everything can turn around and go against you instantly. We see the top three still battling. Davy Allison looked to be in limbo between third and fifth. Pretty comfortable though. As we come around the track here. Doesn't look like they can't get it. It doesn't look like they can even get around Dale Earnhardt here. You know, it looks to just have a fast enough car just to stay in front. Not to pull away, but just to stay in front of these guys. As we're coming around to complete lap number. We completed his lap number eight. We're working on lap nine now. Morgan Shepard just yanked that thing dead left off of exit to try and make a pass here. Doesn't have any momentum. Can't look to do it. Needs to turn three. battling off these corners. There goes Ken Schrader for the lead. Schrader to the inside of Earnhardt. He's had a powerful car and moved himself up to second. Now he's going to see if he has enough power to get himself into the lead. And look at... Oh my God! Shepard looked to try and thread the needle between both of them there. That would have been a wreck if that happened. And Earnhardt and, Sh and Schrader are going at it like two dogs over a piece of fresh meat. 
Look at these guys go back down to this corner now, side by side. And look at Allison right behind them now. He's been able to gain on him here. Earnhardt trying to clear, but Schrader gets to the gas early and he slams into it, trying to clear him. Schrader coming to lead this lap. He gets it here on lap 10. 24 laps to go here. Now Morgan Shepard's going to shuffle his way under the inside of Dale Earnhardt here. Coming through turns 1 and 2 now. Davey Allison, you see, now trying to stick his nose in the inside of Dale Earnhardt here. As Ken Schrader takes the lead off of turn 2. And Morgan Shepard trying to clear Earnhardt down in the 3. But Earnhardt's going to get a runoff and try and clear. They're going to be 3-1 in the corner. No. Allison goes under goes under Shepard for that 3rd place position. Now looking for 2nd on on Earnhardt. The top three championship battlers all right here, right next to each other. And there's fourth place right behind them. And fifth, the top five are the top five in points. Top six are the top six in points. Sixth place, the top six drivers are the top six who are in points. Not in order they are in points, just the way they're just, just who they are. This is why they're in the front. They've been here all year, and this is where they're going to fight it out right now. They're three wide for that third place position. Oh, and Shepard gets shuffled out wide. And now here comes Gordon for that third place position. Now Earnhardt trying to chase back down Schrader. Or Allison trying to fight on the outside of Gordon here. Trying to keep that position there. The Gordon, the rookie. Two young drivers in the sport. Gordon only, I believe, 21 years old. 22 years old now. Where Allison is 33 years old. They come through this corner now. Down the front stretch now. Martin now drafting behind. Another young driver in the sport here. Younger driver in the sport. These guys are in their first five or six years in their career. Well, we have other drivers surrounding them that have been in the sport now for at least 10 to 15 years. Will Martin clear down the long straightaway? No. We got a battle here for the lead now. Look at Earnhardt. He's trying to get around Schrader now. We're going to win the 20 laps to go. This is going to be an interesting final battle to finish here. As Earnhardt pulls out the inside of, Sh of Schrader here. Side by side back down to turn number one. Looks dead, e dead even a dead heat between these two Chevrolets. And it looks like Earnhardt's going to clear Schrader. But Schrader could get the run back on the outside. Maybe try and pass him back down in the three. Schrader's going to keep his nose on the outside here, but Earnhardt's going to close up in front of him here. It looks like Earnhardt's going to take the lead back swiftly from the 25 car. Earnhardt now, even though he's got a pretty good points lead here, he just wants to probably win a couple more of these races, get some good runs here, just so he's definitely going to win this championship. Because nothing, you never know what's going to happen in the final three races after this. Final four races. One of the final four races, we only three races left after this. We go to Rockingham next week. Then to, um, we go to Phoenix and then we finish it off at Atlanta to see who will win it all. As Shepard, as Schrader tries to get right back on the back bumper there. Allison pulls to the inside of Schrader now, side by side for this second place position. Now Allison, two championship competitors battling side by side. And now Schrader on the outside trying to get a run to keep that position. It looks like he will be able to clear Allison. This is going to give Earnhardt time, some time to pull away. These guys will have to pit at least once in this race, though. I'm 100% sure of that, probably. Um, Allison. Everyone's slotting a 9 now. Everyone's keeping calm now. Throughout the top, I would say, 10 now. Top 10's all calmed down. And then um, it's a gap back to 11th. But never mind. The, the Fury's back on here for third place is Martin's trying to get around or Allison for that third place position but I think er Allison's going to get the gas back on exit here it looks like Sh Schrader's trying to pull back up to the back of Earnhardt it looks like no one can really get away from anyone here in the opening laps of this race or has we're halfway through now I should say these guys are going at it 18 laps down 16 to go as we're over halfway through now. These guys training along around this racetrack. As you see, these two have been starting to separate out just a little bit. Oh, look at look at um Martin just yank it out in the into the under the corner. We have pit stops are underway. Oh, pit stops. It looks like Schrader. 
It doesn't look like at, it doesn't look like Earnhardt's gonna pit this time by. So we have 15 to go. So everyone's starting to pit now. So 15 to go. Who is going to pit this time by? Everyone's gonna have to pit at least once. No one's gonna make it the rest of the way on gas. So how is the pit stops gonna work out in this race? In this time by? I'm assuming probably Earnhardt. Alice, I'm assuming the rest of these guys are probably gonna come down this time by. Down in this corner, yes, and here they come. Here comes Earnhardt. Here comes Allison, Gordon, Rusty, Wallace, Brothers, Ted. Looks like Bobby Hamilton in that 20 car, partial schedule 20 car, and Bobby Hamilton Jr. going to stay out another lap. So they're going to lead some laps here. Can I get back to him? Thank you. Oh, well, actually, didn't lead a lap. Well, no, they did. Bobby Hamilton led a lap. Bobby Hamilton... I guess trying to stretch the field a little bit, maybe hoping for a caution to see if he can catch all these guys a lap down and keep his car out front. And you see Derek Cope, who's right behind him as well. These guys are coming down now. Here comes these drivers. Who's gonna Who's gonna be the leader after these guys pit? Probably, probably everyone else is pitting. It's probably gonna revolve back around after these guys pit to who we had earlier. So now with this in mind. These drivers pulling down the pit lane. Bobby Hamilton. Look at Schrader. Well, not Schrader. Look at Gant and Shepard. All these drivers train, trickling back out into the racetrack here. Where is... There's Wallace. There's Gord. There's Rusty. There's Earnhardt. Looks like Allison's gotten out in front. And look at them come back out in the racetrack alongside of each other. I think these, this is the battle for the lead right now. They came on the track right alongside each other. And Jimmy Spencer coming out of nowhere. Must have had an amazing pit stop. Yeah, that's it. That's that's your battle for the lead here. This is it. As they pass those cars that stayed on an extra lap. Schrader is leading this race. We got some dirt kicked up here. I wonder if there was some sort of incident. I don't think we have a caution. Let me check. Shouldn't have a caution. Nope, I think we're green still. Yes, we are. Okay, let's go back to the battle here. And look at Spencer here. Spencer won earlier this year at Richmond here. He's battling for second now. He got his first career win just about, I would say, five, six races ago, I think that was. And they're coming around now, side by side for second now. And you see the drivers behind them there, four more cars. You see Terry Labonte's coming to the picture now. Tal Petty's in the top ten. Driver kind of fell out of the picture completely is Morgan Shepard. Where did Morgan Shepard go? 13th. He had a terrible pit stop. But look at these drivers back here all going at it. Back down in this corner now. Schrader holding his own in front of the two other cars here. Now Spencer looking to get a big run on him here. And you see the cars behind him are actually gaining on him. Now as I hit myself in the head, ignore that. Take a look here now. Going to come to 10 laps to go. This is where it's going to come down to the nitty gritty here. Jimmy Spencer's going to need to find a way to get around Ken Schrader if he wants to get a second career win of his, of his career or end of the season. This is good for Davey Allison. He's staying ahead of Earnhardt, which will have him gain some points on him, but it's not going to be a lot of points. He's going to need to have some more. He's going to need to have Earnhardt have some more trouble if he need, if he wants to um, be able to get close to him in the championship battle. But we don't want to worry about that right now. We're worried about these two guys doing it out for a win. That's what we're worried about. Schrader trying to hold off the two hungry dogs behind him. Oh, look at Allison pull out. Allison pulls out on his father's car. The Chevy Lumina is holding off the two ferocious Ford Thunderbirds behind him. It's become the nine laps to go in the turn one. Now Allison gets back around the number 12. And Allison, who hasn't led a lap yet in this race, he's trying to lead a lap to get that five bonus points. Those crucial five, goal, five bonus points. As Ken Schrader continues to pull drive around out here, having only eight laps to go. He hasn't won a race in over three years. He has been teased more than once this year, trying to win a race at Dover. He dominated, and didn't have, didn't, ha and did not come out away with the victory. Shepard passed him under pit stops, and today is he's trying to end that long streak of of no victories with coming away with one here. With eight laps to go, though, it's anyone's race still. As you see, 
These guys are coming, are staying right with him as we come to seven laps to go. Schrader just trying to hold on for seven more laps. Allison and Allison and and Spencer are going at it with one another. Spencer, who's a modified driver, modified champion, actually, came up into this into this series. He's been looking to have some success, and right now this season has been some of the most successful of his career so far. Been doing very well, and is looking for some success here today. I screwed that sentence up. So we got six laps to go here. These guys are battling side by side. And look at Mark Martin. He's Mark Martin starting to come into the fray here a little bit. As Schrader's pulling away here. Just hoping these guys stay side by side. And he can get away from them here. With six laps to go. Down this back straightaway now. Spencer looks to have that position now. Come to five laps to go. Schrader holding his breath. As look at Spencer's now. Spencer's gained on him here. That's maybe regrouping now, trying to see if he can go for an all-final run. And look at the cars behind him. Everyone's gained back up to him here. And Schrader now is going to have five or six cars to defend now with five laps to go. And here comes Spencer to the inside of him. Oh, he couldn't close the door on him. Schrader could not close the door on Jimmy Spencer. And Spencer has the nose. With just five laps to go, Schrader's trying to hold on. But Spencer's trying to take yet another one away from, from, from Ken Schrader. And now they're battling behind him. Ken Schrader coming to four laps to go. He's going to have to hold on for his life now. Hold his breath. And now Spencer again tempting. Got the run inside of him. Side by side with four laps to go. Jimmy Spencer going for it. They're three wide behind him. The three, the two, and the 28. Three wide and the one behind him. As Spencer takes the lead with Martin now looking on, Spen on Schrader. Schrader though getting, the getting in the gas early. And having the run on the outside now. Trying to hold his own on the outside line. Coming to three laps to go. Schrader holding his nose up there, but too late. Now, now Martin will put his nose under Schrader. Spencer, three laps to go now. Three laps to hold on for victory here as the as the hurricane behind them begins to, begins to simmer a little bit. Now Schrader in the catbird seat looking to try and take the position away. But no, Martin makes the, makes the move. Mark Martin trying to make a move here. He wants to win again. The last time he won was in the Die Hard 500 earlier this season. Spencer, though, been out of these drivers. He's the one that takes victory the least. Only once in his career so far. Looking to do it for a second time. Two to go. They're side by side behind him now. I see Earnhardt's coming to the picture once again here. Trying to keep his championship lead at, an, at a high point. As we come down the back stretch for the second to last time. Spencer, seven car lengths now separating him and Martin. As the battle behind him is getting hot, is getting hotter and hotter. Side by side, the six, the three, and the twenty-five. White flags in the air. It's looking almost all but certain for for Spencer as long as he doesn't make a mistake. Or these guys have the run of a eternity on these guys. White flags in the air, but we have some lap traffic very distant out, and it's looking like Sh Martin has completed that pass, and now Schrader is getting shuffled back fast. Spencer. One less last corner to navigate to win this race. He had a power move to take the lead with four laps to go. And coming through the final two corners, Jimmy Spencer, who didn't have a single win this year, he's going to come off the corner. And Jimmy Spencer is going to win for the second time this season. We have Ricky Rudd stall on the grass there. Checkered flags out, by the way. And Jimmy Spencer has won. But we're going to take a look back see why Mark, by, um, Ricky Rudd was stalled on the, on the uh, grass there. Mark Martin will get second, Dale Earnhardt third, Ken Trader fourth, and Davey Allison will finish fifth. And that will make Earnhardt gain more points on Allison. He finished ahead of him. But Spencer wins his second race this season, end of his career. Good race, good win for Jimmy Spencer. Take a look back, though, at who stalled on the racetrack here. What happened to Ricky Rudd? Let's take a look here. As we take a as we take a look here, Ricky Rudd driving around here on the final lap here. Let's fast forward a little bit. He just did he run out of gas or something? He could have pitted. He I guess he stayed on the racetrack and I don't know what Ricky Rudd was thinking there. He's not going to have a ride. He, he he's leaving the five car after next year. 
Um, okay. Well, with that in mind, I think that's it for this race. So after this race, Dale Earnhardt has the points lead by 181 over Davey Allison now. Morgan Shepard has fallen back a little bit now. He is out by over 200 now with only three races left. It's pretty much down to at least at most a two car at least a two car race. I would say not very many drivers have a chance left outside of Morgan. It's maybe a three car race, but other than that, it's not that close anymore. As Schrader's out by 350 now with two races left. It's you'd have to have a lot to go his way. Jeff Gordon, same way. Mark Martin, same situation. And then I think it's after six, it's pretty much done from there. So pretty much only about three cars have a chance to help them win this championship with three races left. Um, and with that, we're going to go. We're going to call here for this race at Charlotte Moore Speedway. Next week we will be at Rockingham for a 500 mile race, um, which should be pretty interesting. One of the final three races of the season. Um, other than that, goodbye.